Civil society condemns Badami Bag tragedy. Islamabad, civil society organizations, human rights activists, representatives of the Christian community, various non-Muslim Pakistani communities, Muslim minority Shia sect, member council of Islamic ideology and chairman Pakistan Ulama Council Hafiz to Mahmud Ashrafi, and citizens jointly express outrage and strongest condemnation of cowardice and law violations shown by the Lahore Badami Bag police showed Hafiz Abdul Majid, who knowingly and deliberately registered a false and fabricated fur number sign 112 over 13 under section 295C aka the blasphemy law against a Christian youth, Savan Misich S. Slash O. Chandra Misich, President of Joseph Colony, Nor Road, Badami Bag. We are outraged to learn that the police registered the fur in utter fear for their own lives and safety, when, after Friday prayers, a huge mob of around 3,000 Muslims, led by a barber Shahid Imran, gathered to attack Savan's home, accusing him of blasphemy. We are horrified at the police standing by watching the mob beat up Savan's father. We condemn in the strongest terms the mobs pelting and burning Savan's house, after which the entire Christian community of Joseph Colony fled to save their lives, leaving behind their homes and possessions unguarded. We are totally outraged to learn that over 178 homes, shops and three churches in Joseph Colony were set ablaze at 9 o'clock a.m. on 9th March. The firefighting service did not arrive until 3 o'clock p.m. The blaze was not put out till nightfall. We appreciate the continued strenuous efforts of Hafiz to Ur Mahmud Ashrafi and Joseph Francis to calm and defuse the violent situation. We are further outraged at police inaction when the mob attacked and damaged the colony pastor's car. We strongly condemn the police's arrest of Servant's father, which is reminiscent of the draconian and highly condemned FCR 1901 slash Thabit, a remnant of the British Raj, stipulating collective responsibility and collective punishment, which violates the universal law of presumption of innocence until proved guilty. We most strongly condemn the concept of the police placating and bowing to the pressure of the mob by registering the fur under Section 295C, which carries the death sentence and even that did not satisfy the mob which clamor for Savan to be handed over to them for carrying out vigilante mob justice sick. We most strongly condemn the mosque imam, Kari Saifullah, who incited and led the huge mob, saying that when they find Savan, they must cut him up into pieces with knives. We learn that preliminary police investigations have indicated that the blasphemy charge is false and is based on personal differences. It could also be due to a property dispute, and might even be a larger scheme to evict the entire Christian colony by the land-grabbing mafia. We have not forgotten the recent Ramshaw Misich case. We have not forgotten Gajra either. We are shocked to learn that the huge mob was allegedly led by PMLNMNAs slash MPAs and a local factory owner, if true. We condemn this most strongly and demand an explanation. Exploitation of popular sentiment in the name of religion is not new in Pakistan, but it is reaching unprecedented proportions, especially when applied to the Christian community of Pakistan, whose numbers along with those of Hindus, Ahmadis, Hazaras and Shias are dwindling at an alarming rate. At this rate, we will very soon have to remove the white panel from Pakistan's flag as there will be no non-Muslim citizens left to represent that white panel. This is not Janus Pakistan. This is not what Islam teaches either. This is a new republic of hatred, violence, intolerance, vigilante mob rule, militant jihadism, extremism and Talibanization, where neither Christians, Hindus, Ahmadis, Shia slash Hazaras are safe, nor are Muslim women and girls, nor are schools, mosques, imam Buddhas, churches or temples, where there is no rule of law or fundamental human rights. Is this what Pakistan was created for? Why must we continue to carry the burden of the jihadi sick legacy left behind by General Ziaul Haz, further fomented and funded by Salafist Wahhabi Saudi Arabia, Shia Iran and neo-imperialist USA to this day? Is this the Pakistan we wish to leave behind for our children? Our answer is a loud no, it is not. We demand that the government of Punjab, Chief Minister Shah Bajarif, IG Police Habib or Rahman, Chief Secretary and others take immediate note of this terrible situation, reverse the illegal and malify the fur registered, press the man a show and terminate his services, press and try the false accusers, imam and mob. Leaders 
we demand that the now homeless Christian community of Joseph Colony be provided effective protection by the Punjab government, along with immediate reconstruction, rehabilitation, relief goods and full compensation for all losses suffered. We remind the Punjab government that under the Constitution, it is solely responsible for the protection of the life, liberty, dignity, property and possessions of all Pakistanis, particularly the vulnerable non-Muslims, who are equal citizens of the state. We demand that the federal and provincial governments take urgent immediate action to end the misuse, abuse and exploitation of Section 295 B and C, by revisions in the law and PTC sections.